heartbroken for not finding the rock with mine and your mother's names, which had been the primary reason for my returning here. I turned instead my attention and my camera to the megalithic stones seemingly deliberately placed across the summit of the hill. My day, time, and cost to get here would not be in total vain. Academia will staunchly argue that these stones are a natural geological formation, naturally. But to the trained eye of an alternative thinker and lifelong conspiracy nut as myself, who had long investigated such anomalies, these grand colossal stones are not natural, but rather cut and placed here by an unknown race, now long forgotten, save only in myth or legend. The Nephilim, those men of renown, the giants of old. And they were likely placed here in an age before the flood. There is no doubt as to their antiquity, and very similar structures have been found around the world, as in Montana, Russia, Peru, and underwater at Yonaguni. Their similarity is as astonishing as their grandeur. Some of these stones seem to have been deliberately hollowed out into a bowl shape with flat bottoms the largest being two meters in diameter, with a perfectly flat base. Many of them have channels or grooves cut between them, as if to allow liquid to flow from one to another and into another. Such oddities are also found in Russia, Montana, and Yonaguni. What purpose they may have once served one can only guess. Is it possible that the Nephilim used humans to stomp grapes into wine for their consumption? I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs>